thanks for checking out this video. For this video, I've come down onto the beach. I'm gonna be doing uh, another session for the Small Eyed Ray. Had a really good session uh, in my previous video, which hopefully you guys have checked out. Uh, ended up with four Small Eyed Ray in the trip, out for a couple of hours fishing the flood and a little bit of a drop. So um, yeah, gonna do similar tonight. Um, it's amazing what uh, some bad weather can actually do in the period of like two days. So um, we had some big, big uh, swells and uh, big gusting winds as well um, and then today it's calmed down um, I've come down to the beach and it's scattered with uh, with weed all over the beach and it wasn't like that the other day when I had a good session no swell nice big big tide so uh, fingers crossed we can get something let's crack on uh, get baited up get some baits out there and uh, yeah hopefully catch a small light so guys the rods I'm using uh, in this session I've got a pair of uh, any fish anywhere six and bait mark ii fixed ball rods i fitted them with a uh, shimano Ultegra 14,000. so pair of rods exactly the same pair of reels exactly the same so the line on the reel guys is uh Varavas sport 20 pound and uh, i've done a bimini twist to a 60 pound shock leader on there the rigs i'm going for then i'm just going to chuck on two up and overs um, i've gone slightly different with my up and overs for this session i've uh, got a panel on there usually i fish a single but um i'm going to be fishing slightly larger baits tonight hopefully can find a slightly bigger fish so guys let's get the first rig on the go i'm going with like a little panel i've literally just got the same hook i usually use for the small eider frio uh varavas uh big mouth extra but i've just put a uh, size two chinu on there guys hopefully you can see that i've just put that on uh, for this one i'm just going to clip my up and over on like so get both the rigs clipped on get the other one clipped on you can see there guys there's a little bit of weed on the beach tonight there wasn't that much the other night but hopefully that doesn't hinder the fishing too much nice little bit of rolling swell coming in but not too bad a lot less than the other night so i just clipped that rig on guys i uh, got a clip from trident on my shot leader and now i just clip the rig on it's nice and easy so guys there's the rig i'm using an up and over rig so i've got my shock leader here i've just got a trident clip there which i've clipped on uh, to a swivel which is the start of the uh, up and over rig and then I've just got my trident components there my uh, overhang there with a little little bit of uh, beadage going on there with a spring there trapped with uh, a little crimp going straight down to a trap swivel and then another trident clip and then another trident uh, bait clip and then to the lead so I will be clipping my hooks up and over this little overhang here you can maybe see putting the line through there and then clipping it down to my lead and when it sprawls out it's like a fixed ledger so ideal for this sort of fishing so i'm just going to bait it up now and uh, ping it out there so guys the baits on offer tonight then i've got uh, two packets of uh, these uh, locally caught uh, pin sand eels some of them are quite big actually uh, but i'm gonna put a couple of the smaller ones and go do like a triple wrap uh, gonna get a little bit of bait elastic on there as well actually tonight i'm gonna try something a little bit different i'm gonna uh chuck on quite a bit of bait elastic get some pre-made uh like sandy or sausages so they're ready to just fire out because if the fishing's on the ball tonight i just want to be baiting up getting the line out there baiting up getting the line out there i don't want to be uh, faffing around on the rocks baiting up every time i reel in so i'm gonna have my baits ready to rock so we're gonna do that now i'm gonna make a couple of baits up really quick i only put a little bit of bait elastic on when i do this to start off with um, and then add a little bit more when i put the hooks in but i'm gonna get some of these sand eel out now so we've got three sand eel there guys and some bait elastic so i'm gonna cut all the tails off like that just gonna hold them in my hand and get rapid
Might even just go for a double with these just to save bait, just in case. It's a really good session. You never know, it might not catch anything tonight. Might be a complete blowout and absolutely nothing. I'm just going to do a double wrap for this one. I will be adding some more bait elastic once I've got my hooks in there. I'm just doing this to secure them together for now. That can stay there like that. Let's go and put them on the hook. So guys, putting these on the hook then. I'm just going to go through the head on this one. And out. Pull it through like that. Get to the bottom of the bait. Just need to loosen that hook off there. Get to the bottom of the bait there. And then pretty much where that hole is, just below it, just go in. Like that. And then out like that and then pull and that should line up pretty neat there we go that's perfect a little bit more bait elastic around that bit just to secure that hook in place get it around the, the eye of the hook just gonna do two baits like that guys obviously what that's the uh, double wrap i've got a treble wrap that's going to go out um yeah so get these done and then uh, fling them out chilly now guys but we've got both of the baits out i've got a double sand eel wrap and a triple sand eel wrap out there i'm feeling really optimistic uh chances of catching one pretty high considering uh, two nights in a row uh, i've had four daniel's had two and a bass so uh yeah there's a really good chance of getting something tonight hopefully it's a little bit bigger right guys uh i'm happy that the swell isn't going to increase tonight um it's died off as soon as that tide's pushed up it's uh, gone nice and flat so I can probably get away with putting on a slightly longer um, up and over rig which I'm gonna go for on the next cast I prefer using the longer ones for the rays um, but when there was swell like the other night um, even using the shorter ones you, you would have seen in, in my other video if you've checked that out that uh, there was a couple of tangles that occurred uh, due to the swell so and that was using a, a shorter up and over rig but I've got two more here I'm going to chuck out um, on the next cast I think slightly longer ones um, hopefully that might produce the fish I've got a feeling that um, as there's no swell the bait's not getting washed around as much um, and being small eyed ray are like predatory fish they're, they're hunting for uh, sand eels and stuff in the sand there on the beach so um, I'm thinking with a slightly uh, longer snood uh, it's going to move around a little bit more um, 
with a longer snood so yeah it's not pinned down to the bottom by the weight on a short snood so gonna try a uh, a longer one on the next cast depends if these if these prove that uh, they're gonna catch tonight uh, on this cast I mean I'm still on the first cast about half an hour in um, and not really had a bite yet so uh, yeah probably gonna go with these for the next chuck out just gonna reel this one in guys and uh, put it on a uh, longer up and over don't think I've had a bite not whilst I've been looking anyway No, that one seems all right. No tangles on it, but you can see it's quite a short up and over, so I'm going to change it for a longer one. Time to get the tip lights out, tip lights out, tip lights out. Whoa guys, big slack line bite on this blue one. Big slack line, look at that, it's trailing on the rocks. I think we might have a fish here. Big slack line bite. Hopefully you guys can see here. Just gonna walk down to the water's edge. I might be alright without the neck because there's not much swell. I can just grab it. Might be something on here. Oh yeah, there's a fish on here guys. Definitely a fish on. pretty short this is a ray as well not sure what you guys can see I've just got my head torch on my hat with the GoPro yeah this isn't a bad one. Oh, 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 oh! not happy might actually need the net oh Good little scrap. Come on. It feels like a half decent fish, guys. Gonna to attempt to go down. Sorry about the filming, guys. I haven't got my cameraman down with me tonight. But still finding a fish. really doesn't want to come up this feels quite good guys there it is there I think he's wrapped wrapped in the line so I'm gonna to have to go easy not sure if you guys can see he's wrapped up gonna to have to go super easy with this one Come on, mate. That's it, just a little bit more. And he's in the net. Woo! Well, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. Oh, this is a beast. This is a beast. Check this one out, guys. This is an absolute monster. Look at that. The size of the net. Oh my God. This is quite a big net as well. I'd use this off the boat. What an absolute stonker. That is an absolute monster. Oh my God. It's almost the width of the net. Not, not far off. Look at that. Here we go guys, hook is out. Hope you can see this. Oh, let's get them forceps there for a second. Look at that. Let's get this net out of the way for a sec. Look 
at the absolute size of this. That's bigger than the other one the other day. Ooh. What a great start to the session. Second cast out. This one's got to be got to be eight. I thought he was well bigger at first, if I'm honest. I thought this was the 10. But he's not 10, he's probably about eight, eight and a bit. Really nice fish though. I'm going to get him back. Let's get another bait out. Luckily I prepped a few up guys. Just going to put a bit more bait elastic on this one just to get that hook on there nicely. <laughs> well chuffed with that guys. Second cast. go guys look at that there's a bite right there I watched that one go down let's reel him in I put this one in a bit closer actually oh he's kiting across the bait oh yeah there we go come on look at that come on Oh, this feels good as well. Look at that. Not sure if you can see that rod. Nice bend in that. Oh, he's a good one. He's trying to go over my other line. Uh. Come on. Feels like a good one. Oh, he is over the other line. No, that's not good. That's not good at all. I swam back over it now. Right, let's go the netting. Come on. Another good one, guys. I think this. This one. Oh, he's kiting across. Come on. No, come on. Up you come. He's trying to get on the reef. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not happy, this one. Good one. Another good one. Come on. Yes. That's another nice one, that. Oh, he feels a bit heavier. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, the good ones are here. There's number two, guys. Number two of the session. Well chuffed. Gonna get it back. Nice female, that, so that's a good sign. Should be some males around as well. Well guys, I'm just reeling in to pack up and I think I've got another fish on. It's not doing an awful lot at the moment. Could be weed. It doesn't feel huge. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> Probably a good time to pack up then. First dog fish I've had down here in a while. Off you go, mate. Hopefully never catch you again. <laughs> well, guys, uh, 
I'm going to call it a night. It's gone a little bit quiet and um, yeah, <laughs> I've just shone my light on the water as well, trying to check out these uh, thin lip mullet. But I was due to pack up anyway because uh, I was only out for a couple of hours tonight. But really chuffed with the two fish tonight. Them rays, they were much bigger than the uh, than the session uh, I did previously. If you've not checked out that video, then check it out. That was a pretty good session uh, where my mate Daniel came out and met me. We're due to be out tomorrow night, so uh, I want to save myself for tomorrow uh, fishing again with Daniel down here. Hopefully we can winkle out some of these bigger ones that are out there today. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, guys. A uh, short session out on the rocks trying for rays. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.